A tornado is a rotating column of air, usually less than a quarter mile wide, with winds less than 100 miles per hour. However, the most deadly tornadoes can be over a mile wide and have winds exceeding 250 miles per hour, most often occurring from supercells. The funnel extending downward from the base of the thunderstorm is called a funnel cloud. If this comes in contact with the ground, it's a tornado. However, tornado-like columns of rotating air can take many different forms depending on the conditions and environment. Water spouts are columns of condensed air rotating over water, most often over the oceans in the tropics or subtropics. Contrary to their name, they don't spout up from the water, rather they develop from above during severe thunderstorms, with air rising and rotating on a vertical axis. These tornadic water spouts are the most dangerous type, but fair weather water spouts are more common and rarely dangerous. They can form during a slow moving developing storm. Both types often dissipate upon reaching land as they both require high humidity with warm water temperature compared to the surface air temperature. Dust devils are short-lived columns of rotating air that form on sunny, hot, dry days over the deserts. These harmless eddies range in size up to 3,000 meters tall, forming as a swirling updraft in sunny conditions during fair weather, greatly differing from the conditions necessary for tornado development. A gust nado is a short-lived vortex that develops along a gust front associated with showers and thunderstorms. Often, gust nados are wispy debris clouds or dust whirls near the ground that seem to have no connection to the thunderstorm cloud above. While their winds can cause major damage, they lack the large-scale rotation associated with tornadoes. Fire whirls are columns of rotating smoke and or fire that can develop along a fire line the intense heat and turbulent winds along the fire line can create circulating eddies of air that stretch vertically because of the hot conditions at the surface. Studies suggest that the burning rate of wildfires increases by 7% in the case of fire whirl formation. 